Wilder, How Rewilding is Transforming Conservation and Changing the World by Millie Kerr is an exploration of the burgeoning conservation approach known as rewilding. Rewilding, at its core, is about restoring ecosystems to a natural state, often by reintroducing keystone species that have been lost and allowing nature to manage itself with minimal human intervention. This book delves into the concept's history, its current implementations around the globe, and the potential implications it has for transforming conservation efforts and impacting the world. Kerr starts by examining the origins of rewilding, which can be traced back to the recognition that many ecosystems across the globe have been dramatically modified or damaged by human activities. Traditional conservation methods have often focused on protecting specific species or managing habitats in a way that requires continual human intervention. Rewilding challenges this approach by advocating for the restoration of ecosystem processes and the dynamic relationships between species, including predators and prey, plants and pollinators. The author discusses the key tenets of rewilding. One of the primary tenets is the reintroduction of apex predators or keystone species to ecosystems where they have been extirpated. These species play critical roles in maintaining the structure and health of their environments. By bringing them back, it is believed that ecosystems can become more resilient and self-sustaining. Another tenet is providing connected landscapes, or corridors, which allow animals to move between habitats, facilitating gene flow, and preventing inbreeding. Throughout the book, Kerr presents a variety of case studies from around the world where rewilding projects are in action or being considered. She takes readers to European landscapes where large carnivores like wolves and lynxes are being reintroduced to help control deer populations and regenerate forests. She discusses the American West, where efforts are being made to bring back bison and encourage the growth of prairie ecosystems. In addition to the reintroduction of animals, Kerr discusses the restoration of plant communities. Rewilding places a strong emphasis on native flora, which supports local fauna, and contributes to the overall health of the ecosystem. Oftentimes, these efforts involve removing invasive species that have choked out indigenous plants and disrupted the natural balance. Another significant aspect that Kerr touches upon is the role of humans in rewilding projects. While the aim is to let nature manage itself, there is an acknowledgement that human actions have caused the initial imbalances, and therefore, Humans have a responsibility to assist in the recovery process. She also acknowledges the complexities that arise when rewilding initiatives occur near human settlements, including the challenges posed by animals such as predators coming into closer contact with people and their livelihoods. Kerr delves into the scientific principles that underlie rewilding, such as trophic cascades, the idea that the presence or absence of top predators can have a ripple effect throughout the food chain, influencing the biodiversity and structure of ecosystems. She demonstrates how rewilding efforts can stabilize and enhance these cascades, promoting biodiversity and ecosystem health. One crucial point that Kerr makes is the potential for rewilding to combat the ongoing biodiversity crisis and provide a way forward in an era of rapid climate change. She explains that intact and functioning ecosystems are more resilient to the impacts of climate change and can even help sequester carbon dioxide, thus serving as natural climate solutions. Kerr also highlights the socio-economic benefits that can come from rewilding. Ecotourism is one such benefit where people travel to see rewilded landscapes and the species within them, providing new revenue for local communities and creating an economic incentive to support conservation efforts. Moreover, she discusses how healthy ecosystems provide services, such as clean water and air, which offer direct and tangible benefits to people. The book does not shy away from the controversies and criticisms of rewilding. Kerr notes that some conservationists and stakeholders are skeptical of the approach, considering it too radical or questioning whether modern landscapes can truly be returned to a pre-human state. There are also concerns about how rewilding affects agriculture, land rights, and existing conservation strategies. Moreover, Kerr addresses the philosophical debates surrounding rewilding, including what natural truly means in an era when human influence has touched every corner of the planet. 
She investigates the varying definitions of wilderness and the degree to which rewilding projects can or should aim to recreate such a state. In discussing the future of rewilding, Kerr expresses optimism but also caution. She promotes the idea that, if done thoughtfully and inclusively, considering human needs alongside those of nature, rewilding has transformative potential. It could not only reverse some of the damage done by humanity, but also create a new ethic regarding our relationship with the natural world, one that is less about control and more about coexistence. She acknowledges that there are substantial challenges to implementing rewilding on a scale necessary to affect global change. These challenges include logistical issues, funding, public perception, and policymaking. However, she argues that as the evidence of rewilding's benefits continues to accumulate, and as the urgency to address ecological and climatic crises grows, the movement is likely to gain momentum and may reshape conservation strategies worldwide. By the end of the book, Kerr has woven together a tapestry of stories, case studies, and scientific research to paint a comprehensive picture of what rewilding is, where it came from, and where it could potentially lead. Wilder is a call to action, inviting readers to consider the possibility of a world where humans work not against, but alongside nature to heal the planet and secure a more biodiverse and resilient future. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.